G'day guys, today we're in my daughter's bedroom looking at this drawer unit. It was a hand-me-down from the family. Great unit, but has one major flaw, and that is that the drawers come screaming out and crush little toes. So today we're going to look at designing and 3D printing some stops for the inside of the unit to make sure that the drawers don't fall out. G'day guys, you're with Pete. Welcome to Pete's Makerspace. So as usual, the best way to start is by measuring everything and putting a simple sketch down on paper. I'll have to pay special attention to the depth of the wood, as well as the clearance between the drawer and the wall of the unit. I don't want anything I create to bind up and prevent the drawer from sliding. My plan is to create a kind of one-way hinge which will block the drawer from being pulled too far out of the unit, but still allow the drawer to be removed when necessary. There will be two parts, the stop which physically limits the drawer, and a mount for the inner wall of the unit. The stop will be allowed to rotate in this direction, but prevented from rotating in this direction. Now that I have a rough idea of my design, I'll need to choose some screws. Luckily I keep odds and ends lying around for just such occasions. Based on my rough sketch I figure I'll need two wood screws for mounting and a single long screw to act as a hinge. So that means for all of the stops I'll need carry the eight long screws and 16 wood screws. Perfect. As usual, I'm working with Fusion 360, my tool of choice for this kind of hobbyist or non-professional work. As I virtualize my idea, I'm making sure to refer to all of the measurements I took earlier, as well as my sketch design. This part is going to be 3D printed, so I'll need to factor in impact strength by making my parts thick enough and print orientation to ensure it prints properly. Given that I want this stop to rotate freely around the center pin, I'll have to leave some clearances between the stop and the mount. I'm using about 0.2 millimeters, which I know will result in my printer creating a snug but friction-free fit. This square corner is what will prevent the stop from rotating past the design limit. Now, 3D printed PLA can be sharp, and this blocky piece of plastic could potentially come into contact with small hands. So, I'll also chamfer the edges ever so slightly to reduce the chance of injury. The last thing to do is to chamfer the screw holes to account for the countersunk heads on my screws. Obviously, we're going to need parts for both the left and right sides of the drawer unit, so I'll use the mirror function to reflect the parts symmetrically. Let's also use Fusion 360's motion joints to check problems. Cool, seems to function as envisaged. Time to get it printing. My printer has a print volume large enough to print all eight of the stops at the same time. Total print time for me was estimated at around seven hours, but it actually clocked in at around eight hours.
Excellent. It works in real life just as well as it did in Fusion 360. Let's try it out on the draw unit. Starting with the easiest draw to test, I'll carefully measure and drill the holes for mounting the draw stops. That is nice and firmly attached. Good range of motion. Let's move on to the left one. Let's give it a test. Best start gently before giving it a proper yank. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Proper test. Lovely. So there you have it guys. Simple solution to an important problem. I'm very happy with the way this has come out. These drawers are going to stop from falling out on little toes now. And my wife's going to be very happy. This is my favorite type of DIY. It's simple, it's easy, and it's very rewarding when you get it done right. As usual, I'll put the links to my designs in the video description below, and you can find those on Thingiverse. If you've got any improvements to the design or any comments or anything to add, feel free to chuck them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, committed, and creative. This is Pete from Pete's Makerspace, out.